Williams. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to party. And you got to tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. I did. Oh, See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, them so I need, freely. Can, can, I need, can I need another one? You, here, get you another Thank one. Thank you, too, sir. Can. Thank you. Earlier this year, Cat Williams warned us about Diddy on Shannon Sharp's club Shay Shay. In the now famous line, you got to tell him no. Well, some couldn't tell him no, and now they're recorded with or without their knowledge. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. Do you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? Is to act like it didn't happen. They all do the same job. But I'm not scared of being the competition. Yeah, on paper, they're a better team. They have all the assets and resources and we don't. But let us get on the line, boy, and see if that factors in. I guarantee you it won't. All of these shortcut takers, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my p in front of all my people at my agency. I told him no, what y'all do? And this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old comedian, but in my face, no, no, no. The king has walked in and they have to respect it only because I'm not taking the shortcuts. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. As ironic as this is, you just have to admit that Cat Williams has been right about Diddy all along. Hidden cameras in P. Diddy's house proves disturbing sex trafficking allegations. Jin King Combs, he's only 26 years old, and he was named in a lawsuit by a young woman, 25-year-old named Grace, who was working on a yacht in December 2022 when she says that Christian Combs uh, assaulted her, that he's tried groping her, that he trapped her in a room and that it was it wasn't until another crew member came to stop it that she was finally released she said that she was forced to take a tequila shot and there's actual audio of that incident where she asks is this drugged and he says take the tequila shot okay wait where did the video come from so it's an audio that was a transcript of the audio was included in the 31 page lawsuit um so apparently, I'm not sure who exactly was recording, but there is a recording out there. Joining me very quickly, and I want to circle back to you, Kiela, about uh, Sean Puffy Combs, a.k.a. Diddy, spinning, spinning, spinning. I mean, this guy is a master promoter, okay? And the allegation is that Combs aided and abetted his son in this attack. But what I want to ask you about, Bernarda Villalona, is the audio tape that Kayla Brantley's talking about. Can I see Bernarda, please? Bernarda, to get a video or an audio tape, even if it's a 911 call from the police for Pete's sake, the prosecutor or whoever wants to bring it in has to go through a series of evidentiary hoops. In fact, it's laid out in black and white in the criminal code. You have to prove veracity. You've got to show who made the audio. Sometimes why did they make the audio in uh, as the circumstances surrounding the audio being made. Yeah, so supposedly it was Little Rod. Ronnie Jones was the one who made this recording, which calls, calls into question is why he was making a recording and if he knew what was going to happen. So he did it thinking that it was going to happen and he wanted evidence of it. Interestingly enough that the attorney that's representing Ronnie Jones is the same attorney that's representing this complaint and this victim in this alleged sexual assault. But this is very damning evidence because usually in cases like this, Nancy, What's the number one defense? Credibility, believability. She's making it up. This is a money grab. But here you have an actual audio recording that the complaining, the victim, is going to be able to authenticate and say, that is me on the recording. That is actually what happened. There is nothing missing from that recording and will be able to meet the burden to have that piece of evidence move into evidence if it's in a civil lawsuit, in a civil case, or even in a criminal one. So that hurdle is going to be met. But this is very damaging against his son. 
also damaging against Diddy because it can even possibly go in if the federal prosecutors are looking at a RICO charge, can go in as one of those acts. Photos from Diddy ex-producer Rodney Lawsuit serves as backup for cat claims about what goes on at Diddy's parties. Is doubling down, saying not only did Universal Music Group and its top execs know about Diddy's alleged sex trafficking venture, but he says they were there when sex workers were in the studio. It would matter if the sex workers were plying their trade or they were just there uh, in the studio. And Lil Rod says he has proof. And I can imagine that if you had a, a room that had many people in it and nefarious things are going on, people are going to have their phones out. Plus, there was the accusation that Lil Rod never got paid for his work on Diddy's Love album, but that the sex workers did. If there are some people who, who've done some things wrong uh, and in some way are related to, to uh, Diddy and his, his group, they're nervous right now. Let's get the basics out of the way before we take a deep dive into the nitty gritty of those newly released court docs. You feel me? Like, you will go to a party with him. And you're looking around like, damn, like, a lot of guys kissing each other in here, man. You feel me? What y'all do is y'all business. So you've you been to a party and seen this? Oh, I've seen it firsthand, multiple times. Man. I've seen Dwight Howard in a pink dress, bro. What? I've seen Dwight Howard in a pink dress with two other trans ladies in dresses. They all the same height at a Diddy party. Oh. Ask about Dwight Howard in Mexico. What's up with Dwight Howard in Mexico? You know, they don't got paparazzi out there like that. You feel me? They was down there hooping. He going to the club with these same trans ladies. Nobody saying nothing. That's why he's not in the league right now. You heard about him catching the sexual assault on the little designer dude? Yep. Right. Him. Imagine you got two seven foot tall swole guys in dresses, corner you in a hotel in a bedroom. You finna be scared. Facts. So like, I, I distinctly remember going to a Diddy party, all the waitresses topless. They serving you, everybody topless, you feel me? Like, he got uh, dancers in cages, people walking around with lions on leashes, tigers on leashes. I seen this with my own two eyes, you see what I'm saying? Bobby Valentino was the person I was bodyguarding there. You see what I'm saying? He tell me, I didn't got so much pussy before, you know, pussy don't even really excite me. I'm like, well, what you mean? But he there, <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> on bro, folks grave. I said, what you mean? So he got two girls with him. So I'm thinking to myself, like, damn, hold on. These might not be normal girls. Sure enough. Now he say, man, take my girl to the bathroom. I'm like, okay. We walk into the bathroom. You feel me? She go into the men's bathroom. But that's that's not all the way crazy because it's one bathroom packed. You feel me? I'm gonna tell my, I'm gonna tell everybody this. If you at a celebrity party and them white guys come in like they was on Twilight, look like vampires, they holding a drink like this, you feel me, with the blonde hair, stuff like that, it's finna get crazy in the party now, you feel me? Diddy's sexuality has always been a subject of controversy. Most believe he is a swinger and many have witnessed him with men. I've been saying it, bro. I've been saying it. That's why I started taking gigs and I'm bringing the guys with me because like, all right, I don't want to be the only straight guy in here. See what I'm saying? Then at the same time, if something happened, if you on a team with like five security dudes, they might be seven feet tall, but they, they five feet tall in their heart. Well, they, a lot of them be soft, scary. They not gangster at all. Like they gonna run and leave you and call the police. Like, they're not going to shoot no gun, bro. Name one time you heard about a security guard, a bodyguard shooting somebody. Uh, Snoop Dogg's bodyguard. That was 20 years ago. That's why you hear all the rappers saying, I don't need no bodyguard. You hear that in every song. That's why. So my interactions with him was this. He had a he had an appearance at this club called The Vibe in Chicago on Kingsbury when it was open. I was head of security of this club. So 
after that club closed, after the night was over, he have an after party. So the manager of the club said, I need you to come with me to the after party. So me and my other homie, we go to the after party. When we get to the after party, bro, like, it was a lot of females in there who uh, who stand up when they use the bathroom. You see what I'm saying? So I'm thinking to myself, like, man, like, this 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 kind of wild on bro. Like, this how y'all come. That's how you, if this how y'all live. This how y'all live. Can't did, touch. Did it. you see him do anything with anybody or anything or? No, I seen him holding hands with two men. Damn. Like this. <laughs> I seen that. I seen that. So, you know, like, they'll, they'll have a dude come out with the paper signing NDA. No, I'm going to the car, bro. I'm good. I'm not signing no NDA. I'm going to the car. I'm good. Seen that, bro. So, seeing all this coming to the news, people was telling me I was crazy. Said I was a hater. Hey, you know what? And Scientology, that was their thing. They would get people in compromising positions They'll hold that footage over their head and get them to agree to things. You see what I'm saying? So, like, you know what? If you, okay, if you see somebody with the chain on, with that little vial of blood on their neck, well, they a Scientologist, bro. All the public outrage by Meek Mill has no denial in it. I guess he was playing it safe not to have Diddy reveal the tape. I mean, the leaked audio is already bad. Well, what do you think about the Meek Mill accusations? Now, you know, I used to bodyguard Rocky Fresh, who was signed to Rose. Yep. All right. Now, Meek said he wouldn't do a song with Rocky because Rocky wasn't street. Right. So, little things that take place, and people will expect certain things out of him. But now, with the, some of this stuff's coming out, if you look at his body of work, it's, it's been strange things in his history. So then, you know, you go on his Twitter page, you, you you click on his likes, bro. You see things that he's liking. That's questionable. Would you come up in here with a matching shirt with me? Hell no. Hell no. Ace, would you, would you pop out with a matching shirt with me, bro? <laughs> Styles, put that on something. You will pop out with, no, boy, it's not going like that, bro. Would you let me call you daddy? Hell no. No, bro. I've been saying this for years. I say, man, these boys strange, bro. The things they into is strange. I've seen so much. I've seen a lot, bro. So, like, with him, look how he responded to the situation. Not one time did he come out and say these things are a lie. Did you see that? Yep. He didn't say that. He didn't deny it. You, that's... No, he didn't deny nothing. Because if he deny it, what's going to come out? Footage. Mm. You think, so you think Diddy has footage on Meek? For sure. He got cameras through his whole career. Every millionaire, billionaire I've been around, bro, they got, so I know what's going on. So if I go into the bathroom, I'm going to cut the lights off, cut the flash on my phone, and look at the mirrors. If it's got that little hollow circle at the bottom, well, there's cameras in there. It's all, they're going to be all through the crib. That's why most times I'm going to chill in the car. Call me, text me if it's getting dangerous. I'm coming in and demonstrating. Point blank, period. This the facts, bro. I've been saying it for years, bro. It's for years. That's why I stopped just going by myself because I be having my own money. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you can't just tell me anything. So, I'm like, okay, me and phone, I'm pulling up here. That's all. I'm not going to pay for all your friends. The guys got cheese. We go to the club. We're going to buy our own bottles. We're going to stand right here and make sure don't nothing happen. Meek want people to stop asking him if he's straight. Like, this man is going on a public campaign to say... I'm straight. I understand I was named in that Diddy lawsuit, but please don't think for a minute. Because again, man, 
I just told you, recognition and acknowledgement. Oh, I recognize that people are saying Meek is doing something and people are acknowledging that. And it's just, it's just so crazy. Like, all it takes is a rumor, dog, and that shit is running. They running with that shit. All it takes is a rumor, bro. All it takes is a rumor. One rumor. One, a mother could just not fuck with you and put that shit out there. Let her put it out there with a skit or do it the right way. Or make a mean. That shit gonna stick, boy. And that shit gonna ride until you, until you do something that overshadows it by ten times. Yo, but I mean, you've been in the public eye for the better yeah. for over twenty years now. Yeah. So somebody like Meek Mill, why does he even respond? Like real, real talk. Like why even get breathe life into this thing? You know who you are. Yeah. But a lot of times, man, let's be for real. If you're being paid, okay, let's say if you're making a living off of your integrity, you're making a living off of your credibility. It's not like me has his super huge corporate job and he just goes and sits in his corner office and he doesn't clock in because he has this crazy ass salary and he gets to go in and just do his job and go home at the end of the night to his family. It don't work like that. This man got to take, like, if somebody book him, that mean people want to scout or want to see him. And when you start f tarnishing someone's image, likeness, you know what I'm saying? Their integrity. When you start playing with that, you start playing with their bag. So if this is how this man eating, we ain't just talking about publishing because you got to wait on pub checks. You got to wait on that shit. We talking about you got a touchdown in the city and people got to come out and fuck with you and rock with you. You know? Like, don't play with that. Don't play with the integrity of my brand. So I get it. You know, it's amazing because some people will tell you, no, just be quiet. Let it blow over. Let it subside and everything will be fine. But then in our culture, you trying to teach us from this side of things, but you got to step in our world. Niggas over here like, bro, nigga ain't saying that. It must be true. <laughs> you tell her the nigga don't say nothing. Because then if the more you talk, people are gonna believe it's real. Why give it like what you say? Why give it life? Nigga, I ain't giving it life. These motherfuckers talking about it, they giving it life. Every time I go somewhere, I see some shit. I'm just chilling. I'm sitting here with a fine ass broad and shit just like, I'm like, what? Oh no, what, 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 what you laughing? I wanna laugh too. What you laughing at? Yo ass, goddamn bitch. What? Memes and things. Like, nigga, nah. Like, it's just, it's just what it is. Like, I get it. Like, some niggas just don't wanna be played with. It's just too many. Well, Meek can't be all gangsta now since he wore matching clothes with Diddy and the presence of the alleged audio of them leaked. Sure, we're part of these freak offs that uh, he's so infamous for. It's, let me ask you, is this still doubtable at this point that Diddy is, you know? Ah, uh, listen, until I see it, I'm not going to say that it happened. Man, listen. Listen, there's been lots of, I mean, in fact, this one dude, you know, Fat Jewish? You know who that guy no. is? It's this, like, Jewish comedian guy. He went to this whole story, and th this story has been kind of popping up again. But he was saying he's at this, he was at this one house party, and it was a super, super high end. He wasn't even sure how he even got in there. But as he was walking around, I think he was trying to find the bathroom. And he walked in into a room, and it was Diddy and this gay DJ named Felix the House Cat, and they were like spooning, according to him. And he said that Diddy saw him, and their eyes kind of locked, and they tried to get him to say that he was joking or whatever else, but he kind of keeps saying the story over and over again. And uh, I looked up, I mean, Felix the House Cat is an openly gay DJ. You know, that part is established. I don't know. I'm not going to say it happened. I'm going to say it didn't happen. I wasn't there. I've never had any sort of gay experiences with Diddy. There's just too many clues, brother. Remember Wendy Williams got kicked off the radio for that? Yeah. When she yeah. brought up and said that there's some, you know, she has some sort of gay proof, Puffy called and said, you either get rid of her or I'm suing. They got rid of her. Uh, there was a radio personality once upon a time. Her name was Wendy Williams. And uh, she was practically burned at the stake for um, talking about such. And now it's all come full circle. There were many situations, none of which to talk about, but there were many situations um, back in the day in, in my career. And um, it's all coming full circle now, so. 
Listen, I don't know. I don't know. Is, is Fluffy gay or bisexual? I don't know. I've never been there. I've never been right. there. If it looked like a gay club, smelled like a gay club, it's probably a gay club. 